so in today's video i'm going to talk about lessons that we because i am not the only one we have learned from tanasha and diamond's relationship my friend suggested that i should review about that relationship so <laughs> So as I have said, I am not a fan of celebrity because they have a lot of scandals. But since the Tanasha and Diamond thing was as, as and Diamond thing was as the Tanasha and Diamond relationship was the thing that many people talked about, I figured let me just review it. So I'm going to talk about lessons. I don't know how many, but just the lessons I've learned from Tanasha. Tanasha and Diamond's relationship, guys. The first one is, it's not good to hurry. Please, just choose a chini, choose a dogo, usko I I feel like they hurried their relationship because we have about rumors of Tanasha and Diamond dating. Kidogo, kidogo, I think four months later, we heard that Tanasha has already got pregnant and the pregnancy see is diamonds and i think that was not a good thing for me i would say that it's good to take your time take your time everyone can make mistakes especially he if if they've made mistakes before please do not ignore do not the second thing i will tell ladies is just walk away if it's not building you, accept and move on like Tanasha did. I admired her and I think that's a good thing that she left before it was too late. You know, some people just, uh, some people go through a lot and they choose to ignore these uh, things. They choose to keep quiet just because of clouds. I would advise you or... I would advise myself to leave anything that is toxic. It doesn't matter whether you are dating the prince of England. It doesn't matter. As long as you see a wake-up call, take it seriously. Hmm? Take it seriously. In this world, people will judge you and it's very normal. We have been judged. I have been judged too. Even if you are the lowest of the law, you will still be judged. So even if you're on top, whether you are, wherever you are in this life, you have to be judged. So just do what is good for you. Just do like Tanasha did. And I, I also remember uh, during that time, Zari posted on her Instagram. I am not, <clears throat> I am not quoting because I can't remember very well. But this is what she said, that a woman can never be perfect for a man who is not ready to settle she wrote this immediately after diamond and tanasha broke up if i get the post i'll screenshot and put it here but that's what she said and i felt it i felt that deeply because zari is a victim of diamond's games and so she told tanasha okay <laughs> she advised us women to never blame yourself you are not the one who is wrong it is them. I'm sorry for the guys watching this, but let me just say the truth as it is. The men are usually very, like, I don't know, but Diamond and Tanasha were not a perfect couple for us. We all remember that Tanasha had, um, she had a launch for an album, which I don't remember the name. But Diamond never attended that launch. That was a wake-up call. And I feel those are the things that made Tanasha flip. The third lesson, or is it the fourth? Um, you should work hard. Tanasha portrayed hard work. Many men feel threatened when a woman is hardworking. She released her albums. She took advantage of that space, which I think that was a good thing for Tanasha. She went ahead to release her songs. She actually really, really invented in her music career. And that's what she's using right now. Just imagine if she just went there, 
kuangalia tu pesa ya diamond right now angekuwa tu ana na makasiriko so i think the third le- the fourth okay whichever the lesson just be hard working when, when you're in a relationship don't rely on anyone tanasha used to even go to those music concerts it didn't matter whether diamond attended them or not she just kept pushing and striving and i think men are usually jealous <laughs> I'm sorry for the guys again. Wool up, nigga. Wool up, wool up, wool up. Just... Because when they see a hardworking woman, they usually feel very insecure. And that's that's it. That's all about life. You need to be very hardworking, ladies. I hope you're listening. One thing that made me realize that the relationship was toxic was uh, Juma Lokole's interview. Juma Lokole is a friend to Diamond. Actually, hey, imagine Diamond's friend do not, did not respect Tanasha. How could he go live on YouTube to troll down on Tanasha? I don't even want to talk about what he was speaking about in that interview, but it shows that they had no respect for her. How can you stay in a relationship that your guy, his guys, his, hey, your guy, his guys, his, hey, <laughs> yani, the whole sequence is not respecting you how a man needs to respect a woman and a girl deserves respect the good thing with celeb relationships is that they always catch us like news zinatufikia if the relationship is toxic we always get to know because like that one it was so real so evident I also had rumors that okay these are rumors because I didn't see but uh, Rayvani had told Diamond Rayvani posted on Insta stories congratulating Diamond for leaving Tanasha like seriously how do you do that I think women should just love one another because these guys don't love us yes they don't because how can a fellow man like he, he they used to be tanasha's friend so they were just pretending hmm? so i think that takes me to my next point do not trust your best friends hmm? you can imagine Rayvani trolling down on tanasha yet they were rejoicing when she was there pretending that they support her pretending to be loving her and her kid but wapi just pretense huh you can't know what the buddies talk when they are together so just remember you don't have to trust all your friends all all his friends just date your man and that's it because you see you remember tanasha unfollowed everyone she unfollowed her mother-in-law and this will take me to, the, to my next point do not like usingiliane sana na in-laws leave the in-laws to themselves like watch it to just concentrate on your thing because how are in-laws related to mashida we have had a lot of issues with diamond's mother-in-law i don't even want to mention them because she has had issues with all the baby mamas of diamond i think so so just i think heri to kai kiwewe usiku unashinda like kuvurugana tu na in-laws i think Privacy is very important in relationships. Yeah. No, I'm not perfect and I don't have experience in relationships. But that one of Tanasha and Diamond seriously was bound to fail. She was really advised from um, his Diamond's excess advice to her. They, for example, Zari, she's the most recognized but diamond does a lot of baby mamas i know of two i know of three so i think also it's good to listen to advices although i wouldn't say that all advices are good but listen well or lipo uh, because this guy has a lot of scandals like how would you expect a man to settle when he already has candles with so many women, I think as much as people change, this one is not bound to change.
if he truly was ready to change then i think he wouldn't have rushed the relationship with tanasha because you need to take your time if he had taken his time then we would say like yeah this guy has changed but yo you hey waliachala tu juzi is in another one and so this one goes to the ladies who love celebs i'm not saying it's bad to date a celeb but just be aware these celebs can do anything for clout they don't care yeah the list of their worries is your relationship so just be careful you need to be careful with them if he comes here and gives you lies about okay they might be true but 90% are lies about how much they love you just don't take it to the bank it's kuli apa juju give him benefits of doubt yeah and the last thing i learned or we should all learn from that relationship is social media is always there to troll you to put you down social media like what to ombiana to mabaya kamati zote ni za rochafu hakuna kamati kwa so when you're posting your relationship things on social media be very very careful don't just post everything about your life on social media i remember um once upon a time jz and beyonce they had some issues because uh, a kid like alikuwa mtoto wa nani sikumbuki i think Kerry Hilson she gave birth to a kid that was a photocopy of Jay-Z you can imagine now everyone on social media like walichochea tu akisema no this kid is for Jay-Z Jay-Z is cheating on Beyonce and you know Beyonce took it and wakakosana for a while so i think social media is always there to separate you i don't know why i don't know what people gain by that we see like vile Diana na Bahati pia there are a couple that is always trolled on social media let me just say this social media is not good even though you want the likes those likes come with a lot of consequences you might find those things down you might find those things there and the the people who love you on social media are very few let's say 20% the rest will hate on you so when you're hated don't just uh, give up you can do your thing but don't depend on people to like you just do your thing and that's what i think i've learned and the most important thing is to pray pray for your relationship and pray for just pray for your things to go well don't depend on people to like you pray to god to push you through So that's it for today. I don't know whether that was a rant or it was just a talk. I think it was just a random talk and I am enjoying this. So I'll be doing this regularly. Feel free to comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. The lessons that I have left without mentioning. Remember to like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so that you cannot miss on my videos. Goodbye till next time I'll see you guys